shaking the earth once again, sitting down. Gosh, too much lasagna. <laughs> the Ugly Duckling, Walt Disney. Alrighty, I'm looking forward to reading this one with you today. It's a great story. Some of you may already know this one. If you don't, that's cool. We're about to read it. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. The Ugly Duckling by Annie North Bedford, illustrated by the Walt Disney Studio, adapted by Don McLaughlin from the motion picture The Ugly Duckling. Any of you out there seen the movie? Oh, awesome. If not, you should watch it. It's good. All right, here we go. One lovely summer afternoon, a mother duck sat on her nest. In the nest, warm and snug, were five beautiful eggs. The mother duck sat very still, waiting for the eggs to hatch into five little ducklings. Cute. At last, the mother gave a quack of joy and sprang off the nest. The eggs were rocking back and forth. From inside them came pecking and scratching sounds. The mother duck bent over to watch. Then one, two, three, four eggs cracked open and out tumbled four tiny ducklings, yellow as butter, and soft as down with bright eyes and cute little bills. They all stood up and looked around. Then with soft little quacks they climbed out of the nest, waddled up around in the shade. What a beautiful family, the mother duck thought. Look at them all. Look at how cute they are. Running around. But then she looked at the nest and sadly shook her head, for the fifth and biggest egg had not hatched yet. So she sat down again and waited some more. Soon, the big egg showed signs of life. In a moment, two feet broke through the shell. Then a head appeared, but inside, I'm sorry, but instead of being small and yellow and downy like the other ducklings, it was big and white and fuzzy. Honk, said the new duckling, eager to be liked. Horrors, said the mother duck. He doesn't sound like any child of mine. Quack said the other ducklings. He's funny looking too. You don't want to play with an ugly duckling. And then waddled away with their mother. The ugly duckling couldn't understand why everyone had left him alone. He followed the others down to the pond. There he found the mother duck. She was swimming around the pond with the four little ducklings on her back. The ugly duckling honked at them, hoping for a ride. But the mother duck duck just scowled at him and told him to go away. Oh, it's not very nice, is it? No. Poor ugly duckling. There he sat all alone at the edge of the pond. Why won't they play with me, he wondered sadly. Why do they call me ugly? Big tears filled his eyes and trickled down to splash in the pond. Look. Sad little fellow. The ugly duckling glancing down saw a strange sight. There was his own reflection, all blurred and twisted with the ripples of the water. Oh dear, cried the ugly duckling. I am ugly indeed. I will run away and hide when no one will see me. Oh, that's no good at all. So he turned away from the sunny pond and went slowly into the dark and gloomy forest. He sat, he, how sad he felt there, alone in the forest with the silent shadows looming around. But after a while, he heard a friendly chirping. Baby birds were calling from their cozy nest. I'll show you, they're right up in that nest there. Can you see? They sound nice, thought the ugly duckling. Maybe they'll play with me. So he hopped and scrambled into the nest with them. The baby birds liked him. And our mother will like you too, they promised. The ugly duckling could hardly wait for the mother bird to come. Soon she came flying in with a juicy worm in her beak. Snap! went the ugly duckling's hungry beak as he snatched up that whole big worm. The mother bird was furious. She pulled the worm away from him. Get out of here, you ugly thing! She cried as she chased the frightened ugly duckling out of the nest. Oh no. Couldn't hang out there either. The ugly duckling rushed to the pond as fast as he could go. Everyone hates me because I'm ugly, he thought. Then he lay down on a log and cried. Honk, honk, honk. The ugly duckling heard the sound over his crying. He blinked away his tears and shyly looked around. There, right in front of him, paddling in the water, were four fuzzy white creatures, just like him. Wow. 
What's the matter? Crying on a beautiful day like this, they asked. Come on in, play with us. The ugly duckling dove off the log and, all be and they all began to play, but in the midst of a lively game of water tag, his playmates suddenly swam away, honking happily. The ugly duckling looked up and saw the most beautiful bird in the world. Mother, mother, his new friends cried. We found a new little brother to play with. Welcome home, said the beautiful snow white swan, cradling the ugly duckling in her wing. You are fine and a handsome baby swan, and you'll someday be king of the pond. From the shore, the mother duck and her downy yellow babies watched the ugly ducklings welcome. Come back and play with us, they called. But the ugly duckling sailed happily away with the swans. Beautiful story. Everybody just needs to, to find their place. Everybody has a place. Everybody's unique and awesome and special in their own ways. All right, that's all we have time for. Walt Disney's The Ugly Duckling. Thanks so much for reading that with me today. I hope you enjoyed the story. I'll be back with another very, very, very soon. Bye for now. Definitely not forever. I'm Josh. This is Storytime. If you like these, please subscribe. Click that bell below. See ya.